Alright, hey, how are you? This will be subtest 2 of arithmetic reasoning. This is the answer to arithmetic reasoning. Alright, time you have 25 questions, 29 minutes. Wow, a little bit more than a minute per question. Alright, 15% is the standard rate for tipping weight persons in the U.S. restaurants. If the bill for meal totals $18.53, how much should the tip be? $278. Convert the percentage to a decimal and multiply by the total, total cost of the meal. Round to the nearest ten. Alright, 15% times 18.53 equals 2.77, uh, 2.78. A cook prepared a total of 50 hot dogs and hamburgers for his customers. Half the hot dogs were eaten, 10 were left over. How many hamburgers were prepared? 30. Convert the word problem into equation. 20 hot dogs plus X hamburgers equals 50 items. 20 plus X equals 50. Get the X alone. Get that 20 to the other side. So X equals 50 minus 20 and X equals 30 hamburgers. Alright. The smallest angle of a non-right triangle is 5%. I mean 5 degrees. And the largest is 100 degrees. If the longest side of the triangle is 20 inches, what is the length of the shortest side? 1.77. Use the sum of angles to find the value of the third angle. 5 degrees plus 1 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. Okay, so you knew that's got to equal 100, so x has got to equal 75. So use the law of sines to find the value of the shortest side. Ah, uh, whatever. A sine, sine of 5, sine of 75, sine of 100. A equals B equals 20. Hmm. I don't remember none of this. A over sine of I equals 20 over sine of 100. Where'd this guy go? A times sine of 100 equals 20. Sine of 100. A equals. Don't ask me. That's very interesting. Okay. One third can be expressed as which of the following ratios? I would totally skip that one. One third can be expressed as which of the following ratios? 11, 33. 11 is one third of 33. Thir 11 times 3 is 33. Convert the fraction to a ratio and find its equivalent. One third equals 11, 33. So if you reduce that one to simplest form, it would be one third. All right, number five. A cadet spent three days studying for the arithmetic knowledge section of the AFOQT. Two days studying vocabulary for the word knowledge section, and a total of six days studying for the physical science section. What percentage of study time did the cadet spend preparing for the word knowledge section? 18%. Add the number of days spent studying each section to find the total number of days spent studying for the exam. 3 plus 2 plus 6 equals 11 total study days. Divide the number of days spent studying for the word knowledge section by the total number of days spent studying to determine the percentage of time spent on the word knowledge section. 2 divided by 11 equals 0.18, which equals 18%. If a broken water line is leaking 3 quarts of water every minute, how many gallons of water will be lost in one day? 1,008. Multiply 3 quarts by the total number of minutes in a day to determine the number of quarts leak per day. Divide the answer by 4 to convert quarts to gallons. Ha! Huh. Three times number of minutes, three quarts times number of minutes equals 4,320. Uh, cool. 4.320 divided by four equals 1,080 gallons. That's interesting that they knew to They need to put a point there and do that and do that. Because it really doesn't matter. Just divide that 4320 by 4 and you'll get a number. And it's not going to be 10 and it's not going to be 108. So it's uh, 1,080. You are considered a short-term job that pays 10 75 an hour for a 40-hour work week. And 1.5 times the base pay for any overtime. How much would you earn in a month if you worked 48 hours a week? $2,236. Calculate earning for a 40-hour work week at the base rate of 1075 times 40 equals $430. Multiple, multiply the base rate by 1.5 to get 
to determine the overtime rate and calculate overtime earnings. Base rate, 1.75 times 1.5 is 16.125 uh, per hour. So 16.125 times 8. 8 hours, you're going over 8 hours, equals $129. So combine the base and overtime earnings. 430 plus that 129 equals 559. 559 per week times 4 would equal 2,236. Hmm. Excellent. Cool. The population of Centerville has increased from 350,000 to 500,000 people in the last 10 years. On average, the population increases how many people each year? Ooh, ooh, ooh I think I know how to do this. 15,000. Determine the total population increase for 10 years and divide by 10 to calculate the average annual increase in the last 10 years. 500,000 minus 350,000 equals 150,000 people. All right, so 150 divided by that 10 years equals 15,000 per year-ish on average. Good. Tom and Alice left their home in separate vehicles at exact time. They arrived at the destination in 28 minutes and 32 seconds. Alice arrived in 32 minutes and 28 seconds. What was the difference in driving time? 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Convert both drivers' times to seconds and subtract the totals to determine the difference in driving time. So Tom did um, 28 minutes times 60 plus 32 equals 17.12. All right, all right. What's the 32? Uh, 32 more seconds. 17.12. Alice did in 32 minutes. Divide and make that into seconds times 60. Plus 28 is 1948. 1948 minus 17.12 equals 236 seconds. So convert back to minutes and remaining seconds. 236 divided this time uh, equals 3.93 minutes. So 0.93, changing that to seconds, times in by 60 again, making 56 seconds. So 3.93 minutes equals 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Oh, brother. Interesting. Maria collects $150 for office party supplies. If she spends $5 on drinks, $50 on food, $25 on decorations, and $2 each on 15 party favors, how much money will she have left? $150 for office party. She'll have $40 left. Calculate the amount of money that Maria spent. So she spent $5, $50, $25, and $2 on 15 party favors. Each two dollars each on fifteen party favors. So eighty plus thirty equals one hundred and ten dollars spent. So there's your eighty right there, and there's your thirty right there. Subtract the answer from the amount collected. One fifty minus one ten equals forty dollars. Right All right, going to number eleven. Use the following chart to answer the questions. According to this budget, how much does an individual who makes two thousand four hundred a month spend on food and rent? All right, food and rent twenty four percent and forty eight percent seventeen twenty eight. Determine the total percentage of the budget that is spent on food and rent. Convert the percentage to a decimal and multiply by the individual's income. All right, so food is 24 and rent is 48, which equals 72% or 0 0.72. 0 0.72, 72% 72 of 2,400 equals 1728. Got it. According to this budget, how much money will an individual who makes $2,000 a month save in one year? All right, $2,000 save in one year. Savings, 14% of 2,000, yeah. 3,360, 14%. Calculate annual earnings based on $2,000 a month income and multiply by the 14% budgeted savings or calculate 14% of the monthly income and multiply by 12 for an annual savings rate. So $2,000 times 12 times... 14% equals 3,360, or 14% times 2,000, yeah, times that by 12 equals 360, yeah, there's two ways, cool, that was
minus 12. If, if this budget is kept over an individual's lifetime, and that individual averages 4000 a month income over his or her lifetime, what percentage of total earnings will be saved? It says 14. An individual's 14% his or her life total earnings, regardless of earning rate for any length of time that the budget is maintained. That's a tricky one because it says savings is 14%. All right, cool. One third of the student in John's history class are seniors and two thirds are juniors. There are 28 students and four sevenths are female. Oh, Jesus. How many are men? Calculate four sevenths of the total number of students to determine how many are female. Four sevenths times that by 28 students equals 16. Go figure. So I would change that to a decimal. Four divided by seven and times that by 28, probably come around 16. Subtract the number of students who are female from the total number in the class to determine how many are male. 28 minus 16. Sarah will spend three-fourths of her workday writing a report. If she is at work for nine and a half hours, how many whole hours will she spend on the report? Seven hours. Convert all fractions to decimal and multiply the amount of time spent on the report by the total amount of time at work. So 75% of her time, three-fourths times 9.5 hours at work equals 7.125 Good. 16. How many quarts are in a gallon and 15 gallons? 60 quarts. Given 4 quarts to every gallon, 4 times 15 equals 60 quarts. Got to know that. 4 quarts per gallon. Convert 8 meters to feet and round to the nearest foot. All right. 26 feet. 8 meters to feet. 26 feet. Given 3.2 feet every meter, 3.2 feet times 8 meters equals 26.24 feet, or 26. If three sandwiches and two small salads cost 26.50, and each sandwich costs 6.50, how much does a small salad cost? 3.50. Multiply the cost of each sandwich by the number purchased to determine the total amount of money spent on sandwiches. 650 times 3 equals 1950. Three sandwiches. 650 times 3 is 1950. Cool. Subtract the total amount spent on sandwiches from 2650 to determine the total amount of money spent on salads. Divide the number of salads purchased to determine the price of so total number 2650 minus the price of the sandwiches is 1950. Leaves you about seven bucks left. You bought two salads, yeah. two small salads, seven dollars divided. Each salad costs 350. That's good. That was question 18, 19. Nate is planning. Cat back there. Nate is planning a garden. With rectangular raised beds measuring five feet long by two feet wide, he will line both sides of his driveway with flower beds. If his driveway is 35 feet long by 12 feet wide, how many raised beds will he need to build? Will he need to build? 14. It's 10. Divide the length of the driveway by the length of each raised bed to determine how many will fit along one side. Multiply by 2 to calculate how many will be needed for both sides. All right, what's 35? 35 feet long divided by 5. 5 feet long equals 7 beds per side. Okay, good, good, good. 7 beds per side times that by 2, both sides, 14. So there was a part that we didn't need. And he's planning he will line both sides of his driveway which is 35 feet long. We don't even know, we need to know how wide these things are, it sounds like. 35 feet long driveway. Each bed is gonna be five feet long. 35 beds per side. Seven <laughs> beds per side, excuse me. Seven times two is 14 beds total. Don't even need to know how wide it is. 
Andrew needs to save fifty dollars to buy a He will put aside some of the money he makes in tips over the next month in order to save enough. Assuming Andrew makes twenty dollars in tips every day that he works, and he works five days a week, what percentage of his weekly earnings will he need to save? Fifty dollars. Thirteen percent. Makes a hundred bucks. Hmm. Determine how much money he needs to save each week to have $50 by the end of the month. Divide by the amount of money he actually makes each week to determine the percentage of his weekly earnings he needs to save, given four weeks in a month. Alright, he makes $50. He needs to save $50. So each week he needs to save $12.50 weekly, saving needed. So he makes $100 weekly in tips. So 12.50 divided by 100 uh, equals 12.5% or 13% when you round it. Hmm, interesting. He makes 100 bucks. What's the question? What percentage is weekly and enjoy you need to save? 13%. Going to 21. If a driver averages 70 miles per hour, and drives 10 hours per day, how many days will it take to drive 1,400 miles? Two full days. Use the distance equals rate times formula. Rate time formula. Rate times, rate times time formula. Distance equals rate and time. Two, determine how many miles will be driven each day. All right. D, distance equals 7 miles times 10 hours. D equals 700 miles per day. 700 miles per day. Hmm. Divide the total distance being driven by the number of miles driven each day to determine how many days it will take. 1,400, he needs to go 1,400 days. 700 miles per day equals 2 days. This was interesting that they used rate times time formula, which is equal distance equals rate times time. The distance equals rate, 70 miles per hour. In 10 hours, he drives 10 hours per day, so the distance will equal 700 miles per day. Divide that by. Yeah. Hmm. Two full days. A truck is carrying apples and oranges at 